Hello everybody. Let's say you had to show economies of scale or diseconomies of scale or illustrate returns to scale, decreasing returns to scale, whatever it might be. How would you actually go about doing it? Well, you'd use this diagram. All right, let's get started. To show economies of scale and returns to scale, we need the long run average cost diagram. So that is going to be what's at the core of this diagram. So long run average costs, we are working with costs, it's costs on the y-axis, so label that first, and quantity or output on the x-axis. Then we draw our long run average cost. So draw this nice and big, a little kind of bucket diagram like that, and label it straight away. Long run average cost, don't forget to do that. Right, the easy way of drawing this diagram is then splitting the curve up into three different sections. All right, so let's do that now. We have the section where the curve is decreasing. We have the section where the curve is increasing. And the bit in between is where the curve is flat. <clears throat> These are the sections of relevance to us. So the left-hand section, you then label uh, increasing returns to scale. Okay, so increasing returns to scale. Here we've got constant returns to scale, and here we've got decreasing returns to scale. Okay, so you label those three things. So we've done that. Returns to scale have been shown. Uh, the decreasing part of the long run average cost curve, increasing returns to scale, yes, but why? Because there are economies of scale. So you can also label that. So we can say, economies of scale, and we can say this economies of scale over here. All right. If you want to be really pedantic, you can say this entire area where the curve is down sloping is economies of scale. So you might want to do a little arrow and say, look, where this curve is decreasing, that's economies of scale. Where this curve is increasing, that's diseconomies of scale. You might want to do something like that. But also what's putting, worth putting on this diagram is the minimum efficient scale of production. And that occurs as soon as the long run average cost curve stops decreasing. So we can label that Q1 and that is our NES point. So I've seen a question like this come up before in the exam. So if you need to show economies of scale or returns to scale, um, this is the diagram we need to draw. Quite detailed. We've labeled our axis. We've labeled our curves. There is no equilibrium here, so the ACE diagram, as we're used to, has been fulfilled as much as we can do. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video.